all right uh, let's start with this video destination sequence to distance vector before that uh, if you haven't watched my previous video on manet i would highly recommend you to watch that before this because in that video i have explained about uh, routing protocols i have given a brief introduction about proactive reactive and hybrid protocols uh, i highly recommend you to watch that i will drop the link to that video in the description or in the i button please do watch that and come back because uh, this is the continuation of that dsdb is a proactive algorithm what is proactive algorithm i have briefly given introduction about that in that video so please do watch that and come back so coming back to this topic dsdb as i said in proactive algorithms even if data is being passed to all the nodes or not but routes to all the nodes will be maintained in the route table the distance uh, hop count everything will be maintained let us understand that and uh, let us even understand what are the problems uh, faced by this dsdb algorithm and what are the solutions to that in next few minutes uh, let us start with the simple architecture uh, this is a simple network okay there are four nodes in this network a b and c d uh, they have their own routing tables uh, these are initial routing tables if you can see uh, a has the information that it can reach to b with a distance of 1 it can reach to c with a distance of 1 but it cannot reach d it doesn't have any information so it is filled with infinity similarly c d and b have their own routing tables with the similar information now what happens is that each and every node periodically they will share their routing tables with their neighbors in the first step let us suppose that a is sharing its table with its neighbors that is b and c okay each node broadcasts their table to its neighbors a will start broadcasting a will broadcast its table to its neighbors b and c now what these tables does see b the node b doesn't have any information about c it has mentioned it as infinity but the table broadcaster but a says that it can reach c with a distance of 1 so a can reach c with a distance of 1 b knows that it can reach a with a distance of 1 so what b does is 1 plus 1 2 now this infinity will be removed and here 2 will be placed okay see if you can see this uh, i think uh, i need to erase this okay here you can see the updation previously it was infinity now it made to c because from the a table it noticed that it can reach 3 with a distance of 2 similarly c will also make updation about b initially c table has infinity now this infinity will be removed uh, if you look at this table a can reach with a distance of 1 c can reach a with a distance of 1 1 plus 1 is 2 this will be updated as 2 okay it will find out uh, a 1 plus 1 is 2 this will be updated now what happens after that uh, c will broadcast its tables now broadcast is over okay now this has uh, suppose that this is mentioned as 2 now c 1 2 1 this new table it will broadcast this table to a and d as well okay, 1 2 1 this new table updated table will be broadcasted to a and d as well okay d doesn't have any information about a b but from the c's table it will update a doesn't have any information about d from the c table it will update how it will update c a cannot reach d it was its assumption but looking at d's table it can reach with a distance of 1 so this can reach with a distance of 2 right 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 okay next uh, d cannot reach a b according to its table but looking at this table it can reach a with a distance of 2 it can reach b with a distance of 3 okay that what updation takes place if you can read this uh, same thing is being explained here okay, i'll just skip this side c d can now reach a with a distance of 2 1 plus 1 it can reach b with a distance of 3 1 1 and 1 now similarly updations of a takes place a will find out path to d via c with a distance of 2 okay updation has taken place now next what happens let's see now 
each node periodically broadcasts its routing tables to its neighbors. I said A has broadcasted initially, then C has broadcasted. Now again A will try to broadcast. Periodically it happens. Even B and D also do broadcast. But even if D does also, there is no change because D will do to B. So even if it does also, there is no change. So again we are back to the loop. First A has broadcasted, then C. Then even if you suppose D and B has broadcasted their tables, even then also there is no change. Again coming back to A, now it will start broadcasting a table. It will broadcast to B and C. Here B is now having infinity. Okay. Till now it did not get any information how to reach D. But when in the second round, when A sends his table to B and C, this will update because it can see that a can reach with a distance of 2 okay now this can reach with a distance of 3 right because from here to here the distance is 1 the table says that this particular node can reach with a distance of 2 so this will be updated to 3 each and every node has to maintain this distances to all the other nodes not only the distances it has to maintain the root also for example b has to maintain that in order to reach d it has to go to a c then d okay this updation takes place here it has to maintain the root also b c that d is reachable via a with a distance of 2 okay each node also has to store the direction node b can reach node d okay this can reach node d via a node b has to store this information what i said uh, each and every node has to maintain the information like uh, this can go to d okay this can go to d through this path next hop the next hop it has to go is a from a you can check the next hop from c next hop you can reach this okay i think you have understood the basic algorithm there are problems with this algorithm there is one problem called counting to infinity problem that we will try to look now okay. this is all the theoretical information whatever we have discussed till now you can just go through this information you will just understand that whatever we have discussed till now same thing would be written here okay uh, now let us understand the count uh, count to infinity problem okay let us take another uh, network this network has three nodes three computers a b and c as i said each and every node has to maintain uh, suppose a has to go to c this is destination next hop that is direction it has to go to b first the distance is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 okay if it has to go to b next hop is b the distance is 1 each and every node has to maintain the routing table with the information like this now let us suppose that uh, we have shortened these tables we have removed this column just for uh, ease okay just suppose we have only taken two columns a has to reach c it will take two distance for reaching b it has to travel uh, one okay uh, same table just we have removed that uh, the middle column now suppose that uh, we have broken this link okay now there is no connection between b and c okay now there is no connection between b and c then what happens to this routing tables now let us see that when b did not uh, b don't receive any update from c b would know c is disconnected it will suppose that c is disconnected b will set a distance to infinity okay b can go a with a distance of 1 right it can go here with a distance of 1 previously it used to go to C with a distance of 1 previously but now C is disconnected now this is updated as infinity okay now what I what happens actually in this algorithm each and every node will broadcast it tables A will start broadcasting a table now when A broadcast a table B can see that uh, I'll uh, show you in the next slide now a will start broadcasting it tables okay this will broadcast to this and this what b notices is that here a can reach here a can reach with a distance of 2 okay a can reach c with a distance of 2 it cannot reach c what it will do what it thinks is that it will go to a first 
then from here it can go to 3 now this will be updated as 3 what i'm uh, what i wanted to say is that previously uh, b is having information that it cannot go to c the distance is maintained as infinity when a's table is broadcasted to b and c b will notice that a is able to reach c with a distance of 2 but it doesn't know that it is reaching through b only it only knows that yes a is able to reach now what it thinks i can reach a then i can reach to c so the distance will be updated as 3 okay when this table is broadcasted uh, this is updated it was infinity previously now it is updated to 3 okay now again b will start broadcasting to its neighbors again a will start updating because previously a was able to reach uh, c through b okay previously a was able to reach through b now b has itself updated as 3 okay b is saying that it is able to reach c with a distance of 3 now this will start updated to 4 okay. now this will up updation happens 4 again this table will be broadcasted to this one again it will update to 5 again it will go here it will update to 6 this thing repeats okay the same thing repeats and that's why the problem name is count to infinity okay i think you have got a basic idea of what this problem is now let us look at how we can solve this problem so in order to solve this problem we need one more entry till now we were maintaining destination next to hop and distance now we need one more entry called sequence number with this sequence number we could be able to avoid this problem so let us take this diagram this is a uh, network okay we have three nodes a b and c the distance between a and b is supposed as one b and c is supposed as two this is the same routing table which we were having previously except the change that here we have another entry called sequence number you will understand the importance of the sequence number in the coming few minutes just understand that if a wants to reach a the next to hop is a the distance is zero if a wants to reach b the next to hop is b the distance is one if a wants to reach c next to hop should be b the distance is three when when you say the next to hop is b now this will go here from b if it has to go to c next to hop will be c so like that the next to hop works okay uh, the importance of the sequence number is that suppose if this particular node wants to broadcast its table to its neighbors it will increase the sequence number of the entry and then it will broadcast if the received sequence number is greater than the existing sequence number the updation takes place if not the updation won't take place uh, let us uh, understand it with an example suppose b wants to share its table with its neighbors if you look previously sequence number of b is 100 now the sequence number of b will be increased to 102 and we will start broadcasting it to a and c b increases sequence number from 100 to 102 b broadcast routing information to neighbors a and c including destination sequence numbers okay this will update this table to this both actually it has to be 550 here just make a note this will be 550 so the information it was 100 now this will be set to 102 and sent to both of these now they will update their table accordingly they have set if any changes are made they will make those changes and the newest like latest uh, like uh, sequence number will be 102 right now this is some theoretical information about this uh, you can understand this just go through these slides okay now let's suppose that there is a new uh, new node into the network okay initially uh, it doesn't have any you know routing table it will share it with neighbors the only single entry that if d has to go to d the distance is zero okay it will share it with its neighbor this neighbor will update here okay d it has to go to d the distance is one this table will be updated insert entry for d with sequence number 000 then immediately broadcast own table 
No, C wants to broadcast the routing table to its neighbors B and C. Uh, the sequence number of C is 590 here. Now this will be increased then broadcasting take place. Now C increases its sequence number to 592 then broadcast its new table. So 590 it was increased to 592 broadcasting has been taken place to B as well as its neighbor D. Now what will B do? B has an information of 590. Now incoming information is 592. Sequence number 592 is greater than 590. Then it will update. B gets the new information and updates its table. Okay. B will update. It will add its uh, own entry. Okay. Now again B will uh, you know send its table to A. Okay. B will increase the sequence number 102. It will increase to 104. So 104 is greater than 102. Then A will update accordingly. Now these updations take place. After this suppose that you uh, uh, you take a case the link between c and d is broken now c has to update information what it will do it will increase the sequence number to 101 it is actually 100 it will increase to 101 and it will maintain infinity as i said a uh, uh, few minutes ago also once the broadcasting takes place and after some time periodically again the broadcasting has to take place b will again send its own table to its neighbors we will send its own table to a and c c will receive information that b is able to reach d with a distance of 2 but this is false right because the link is broken uh, but it will not update previously in absence of the sequence number when neighbor used to send the information uh, even even if it is, the link is broken looking at this information the table used to be updated again looking at this information this table used to be updated in this way count to infinity problem was occurred but now when this information is shared with c the sequence number is 100 but c has the latest information c has the information of 101 so c won't update its table okay. b does its broadcast no effect on c c knows that b has stale information whatever b is having it is the false information because c has higher sequence number for destination d okay now uh, node c detects this is over now c will try to broadcast the information to its neighbor it is 101 this will try to broadcast here uh, 100 information will be removed, 101 information will be added. Again, when B will uh, broadcast its table to its neighbor, 100 will be removed, 101 will be added. So, because of this sequence numbers, we are able to solve the problem of count to infinity. So, this is the overall uh, DSDP algorithm. Each and every node has to maintain the route table to all the other nodes. Okay, even if they are uh, transferring the packets or not, uh, but the route information has to be maintained this is a proactive algorithm in the next videos we will be looking at reactive algorithms then hybrid algorithms